just kidding you guys it's not going to be that type of video uh, what I wanted to cover today was badger bombs uh, as I told you guys in one of my previous videos I have shoulder impingement syndrome um, which basically means that my shoulder is sore as fuck at all times um, especially after I work out so part of my uh, recovery routine is these badger uh, sore muscle rubs um, and I've been using these for about year two years now even before I had the impingement syndrome and it's just a great uh, great product now I'm not sponsored by badger or anything like that and it's proof of that I also use uh, tiger balm which is a lot stronger than badger balm but it's also uh, not natural it's, there's a lot of chemicals in tiger balm and it's kind of suspicious because when I ordered it I got it off of Amazon and it came in this package and it was like from Thailand or something and it's just it's just kind of sketchy. It smells really strong. It doesn't really have a good smell to it. It's got a really strong smell. Um, the Badger Bomb stuff smells really good. It's not going to irritate your uh, your nasal your nasal passages. Stuff smells good. So basically, what I've got here is I've got the the one that heats up. And it's going to be the orange and red can, and the one that is a cooling blend, and that's going to be the green and uh, turquoise kind of colored can. Um, I prefer this one, the heating one, because it tends to uh, have a deeper effect. It tends to work a little bit better and it's just uh, I can just all around feel it more. Uh, the cooling one, you can definitely feel the cooling effect but it doesn't, for me, it doesn't really soothe my muscles as much as this one does because this one just seems to be a little bit stronger. Um, they both smell great um, and it's just a good natural thing to uh, incorporate into your recovery program. Even if you just have sore muscles after working out, this is something that I think you should incorporate into your into your post-workout recovery as well as your protein shakes, whatever supplements you take for your post-workout recovery. I definitely recommend this. And what I do, what I've done is I've Google searched um, some deep tissue muscle massages that you can do on yourself. Um, obviously, these aren't going to be things that are really going to work for you know, massaging your back because you really can't reach that, or massaging, massaging like I don't know your glutes or something. But if you if you've done arms that day, or you've done shoulders that day, you've done chest that day, and you're really sore in those areas, you can easily Google search some deep tissue stuff that you some deep tissue techniques that you can do with one hand or that you can do on your own without having to go to a professional masseuse or something like that. So that's what I've done, and I've Googled. Um, and just found some massage techniques that I use on myself when I use these um, uh, after I work out. So I've got these two. And also, Badger makes all kinds of products uh, for other stuff. I've got this one, which is a headache soother. I've also got Badger Sleep Balm. I've used this a couple times. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This stuff didn't really uh, do much for me in terms of sleep, but it smells great. It's lavender and bergamot scented it smells really good and you're basically supposed to put it on your face i don't fucking know you put it put it on your face i put it like underneath my nose where my crusty uh mustache is yeah shit needs to get shaved but it's no shave november so i always participate in that um so the sleep balm that about covers it guys this is just a product that i think a lot of you guys have never heard of and a lot of you guys probably haven't thought of incorporating into your post-workout recovery um, but some, some massage work and some uh, soothing oils has definitely helped me get through some rough workouts. And, and with all the powerlifting stuff that I've been doing, I've been getting really, really sore after my workouts because I've been doing stuff that I've never done before, doing some volume that I've never done before, some weights that I've never done before. And I've just been uh, changing things up to try to break some plateaus. And it's just, it's just been making me you know extra sore lately. So this is something that I, I really needed to work into my uh recovery routine and this is just something i wanted to share with you guys and and highly recommend so thanks for watching the video i hope you guys learned something i hope you go get yourself some badger bomb